What is up, Nation? Noah here back again today, and I am following up the AEW unboxing from the other day with yet another Ringside Collectibles unboxing. I told you guys another one was coming. You always gotta listen to me. I don't make promises that I can't keep, but we got a Ringside Collectibles unboxing. Very excited for the items that are in here. And before we get into this item, uh, or items, I should say, I actually want to thank you guys because this uh, stuff that is in this box was actually, and I'm, I'm going to come out and fly out say it, was purchased with my first YouTube AdSense uh, or Google AdSense, whatever it's called, uh, revenue check back in November, or I, I believe it was November. Um, literally the first, obviously I just got monetized back in September, which is, you know, great, a milestone for the channel. Uh, and I got my first uh, check from that back in November and I used it to basically <laughs> half put it back into, you know, the channel, you know, because I'm getting a video out of it and it's also supporting the collection. So, you know, I wanted to thank you guys because I would have, I mean, I'm sure I would have made these, obviously made these purchases, but this, you know, purchase is kind of thanks to you guys. So I wanted to thank everybody who's, you know, been supporting the channel and stuff like that. This was all, like I said, purchased with uh, the No Nation's first <laughs> ad, ad, ad revenue check, excuse me. So thank you guys very much. Uh, you guys are responsible for this unboxing. But anyway, like I was saying, Ringside Collectibles unboxing. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Go follow me over on Instagram at No Nation Vlogs and go check out NoAnationShop.com for all your No Nation and toy collector merchandise. And let's get in to this video. All right, here we go, guys. Ringside Collectibles unboxing. Very excited for it. We do have a set of figures in here, uh, which is a pretty awesome set of figures, I must say. So let's go ahead and let's get into this box, which uh, I believe I said, but was purchased back in November. I believe I made this purchase like a day or two after I got back from uh, my Disney trip. Um, so I believe it, I don't know if it had just went up for pre-order or what the case was. I don't think it did, but point is, this is that is about when I got this. And they're obviously pre-order items. Um, but they're just starting to ship this week, so very, very good. So let's go ahead and get into this box. So we have four items in here, um, obviously all just stacked up. So I'll go ahead and get this box out of my way. And uh, we'll start from the top. So this is the WrestleMania 30, uh, what, what are we at? WrestleMania 38 <laughs> uh, Elite set. So here we go, one by one. Let's get into this here. The first figure we have is Stone Cold Steve Austin from WrestleMania 19. A ruthless aggression WrestleMania, so you guys know I had to have it. I'll be honest, uh, so obviously this is the whole set. Uh, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold, and AJ Styles. The AJ Styles, will obviously get to it, is a great figure. But if there wasn't a Vince McMahon uh, WrestleMania 3 Build-A-Figure in this set, I probably wouldn't have bought the AJ. I probably would have bought in the other three. Uh, but the AJ, I didn't really feel the need to have. However, it is, you know, a bonus that, that kind of, that we're getting that because that goes along with the Boneyard match Undertaker. So now you have both uh, from that set. But I don't know. I was kind of 50-50 on AJ. But uh, once, you know, we, we knew we had to... Uh, you know, get the WrestleMania uh, build a figure, or excuse me, get the whole set for the uh, Vince McMahon build a figure. I knew I had to get the whole set and uh, you know get the AJ. But there is the Stone Cold Steve Austin, real cool figure. I will be doing another video on these figures, um, like like I've been doing with a lot of you know complete sets uh, the last couple of months where I do the unboxing uh, and review, the 360 unboxing review. Uh, so that'll be coming in one of the next few videos. I believe that one's actually scheduled because um, I you know I schedule out these uh, videos a lot of times ahead of time. So I believe that one will actually be going up Christmas Day. Uh, so you guys can stay tuned for that here on the channel. But there is Stone Cold Steve also. I'll give you guys uh, another look at all of them when we're done here. But moving on, we have probably probably my favorite of the set. Um, we have HBK Shawn Michaels from WrestleMania 26. The career versus streak match versus The Undertaker. Uh, I believe this is the first time we're... I don't, is this the first time we're ever getting this gear? I want to say yes. Um, if not, it's definitely the best time we're ever getting it. Um, there is the WrestleMania 26 Shawn Michaels. Very, very cool figure. I think the head scan looks pretty good. Uh, or honestly, really good. And the gear looks great. It's a really good, uh, really good uh, attire that uh, they chose for uh, a Shawn Michaels WrestleMania. But yeah, there you go. I really like the boxes. I, I've been, you know, kind of half and half on the uh, new uh, Elite boxes. You know, I kind of like them. Uh, well, I hated them at first, but they're growing on me a little bit, and I do kind of like them. Uh, but the WrestleMania, you know, theme to this box is uh, is real nice. Not, you know, a big, uh, you know, basic. I don't want to call it basic, but the WrestleMania logo is pretty basic for next year. It's just a star on um, WrestleMania, you know, font and stuff like that. It's nothing uh, too crazy, but it looks nice and uh, well put together on this card. So that's a plus, even though we're going to be opening them up anyway. Moving on, we have the, uh, the one I was talking about earlier. We have the Boneyard match. Phenomenal 
AJ Styles. What's the t-shirt looks really small on him in here. Uh, maybe that's just how it's packaged and it might just be uh, be pulled back, you know, a little tight. Uh, but there's the Boneyard match, on, or excuse me, uh, AJ Styles. Uh, we do already have The Undertaker, which released, uh, I believe, over the summer from Ringside Collectibles, um, whatever the Elite Series that was. Um, so, yeah, we now have The Undertaker and we now have AJ Styles. So, we have both figures from the Boneyard match uh, between AJ and Undertaker, WrestleMania 36, which was uh, probably the best match of uh, both nights. The, uh, you know, cinematic Boneyard match it was. Uh, which is a uh, very 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 awesome in my opinion uh, it's really great stuff and like i said i didn't like 100 percent feel the need to have this aj it is a really nice figure like it definitely like it's not bad at all it's really really cool and uh, i do like the head scan i do think they did a good job i'm not sure if this is the first time we're getting this aj head scan i want to say it's not but uh, i just haven't bought you know really any aj styles figures um in the last few years so this is the first one i'm getting in quite a bit um, but yeah, the figure looks really nice, and like I said, uh, the main selling point for me was that I needed this figure for the uh, Vince McMahon WrestleMania 3 Build-A-Figure. Um, however, you know, obviously completing the set between him and The Undertaker is a bonus as well. But one more figure in this set, and uh, let's go ahead and get the box out of the way here. Um, so the last figure, of course, is Brett the Hitman Hart from also WrestleMania 26 versus Vince McMahon. Um, so you obviously have Brett in his uh, shirt and jeans sorts. Gene Shorts, excuse me. This is actually a pretty similar Brett to that SummerSlam uh, 2010 Elite that got released. And I want to say 2011 it came out. And I actually had that one for like the longest time and I just wasn't displaying it. Um, if I still had it, I probably would have broken it out of its box and displayed it, you know, how I am now. But I had it for years and I just really wasn't buying any wrestling figures at the time. So I ended up selling it, but it is what it is. Uh, it's not like an extremely awesome figure or anything, but this is basically a, you know, a replacement for that. And it's really nice. I like the uh, pink wrist tape on it. Uh, obviously, you got the Bret Hart uh, t-shirt and then the jean shorts and stuff like that. Uh, not a look that we all remember Bret Hart for, but obviously the look um, from when he came back and, uh, you know, had that match with Vince. So there's your side. There's your back of the box. Um, again, this is from WrestleMania 26. We have two figures from Mania 26 uh, commemorated in this WrestleMania set. So overall, it's honestly like, I want to say one of my favorite WrestleMania sets overall um, that they've done in the last few years not that i can really remember like every single one um, but i really think every figure is great in my opinion and you know bret hart's a guy who they really have had trouble with getting a good head to game with and i'm not saying this is great by any means but i think it's definitely decent and uh you know it's on point to the time period that they chose so you know, there's really no complaints with the bret the aj styles um like i said um in my opinion uh, i thought there was a slit in the plastic there but there wasn't uh, not that it matters anyway because i'm opening it but the aj like i said great head scan gear looks good it finishes the undertaker set so you know now you have both from the boneyard match Shawn michaels um honestly probably the best figure of the set like i mentioned earlier great head scan i believe the first time we're getting this attire as well uh from an iconic epic matchup in uh Shawn michaels career obviously and also wrestlemania history so you know an awesome Shawn there i know it's a figure that a lot of people wanted for a while and then we got another stone cold from wrestlemania 19 which obviously a lot of awesome figures are similar because he basically wore the same thing uh, his uh, his entire not only entire career but you know from mid 90s up until you know he retired in 03 was basically just you know black shorts and uh knee pads and boots um it was really just the vest and uh, the initials and saying sometimes it really got changed up and there's some you know a uh, little bit of features over there um uh here and there over the years but i still think it's a great awesome figure i think the head scan's really nice as well um based off wrestlemania 19 versus the rock which i'm not sure off the top of my head if they've ever gave us a wrestlemania 19 rock i want to say there was but don't hold me to that if not i think that would definitely be a great figure mania 19 uh hollywood rock would be sick um there's just there's you really can't you know go wrong there's so many different wrestlemania figures that they could do um to you know keep this line going for years so overall in my opinion great set uh there you go one more time there's the side of the boxes austin hbk aj styles and brett the hitman heart uh, so like i said earlier I will be doing a 360 unboxing and review of this set on Christmas Day here on the channel, so definitely stay tuned for that. My next video is going to be unboxing those figures back there, which is AEW Unmatched Series 2, the 360 unboxing and review for all six of those figures. So that'll be the next one coming two days from now. Today, this is going up on the 21st. That video will be the 23rd. Uh, WrestleMania unboxing will be on the 25th, obviously with Christmas Day. So a ton of good stuff coming on the channel uh, into New Year's. I have a lot of good stuff planned for the No Nation YouTube channel. So guys, stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Go follow me over on Instagram at no nation vlogs and go check out noonationshop.com for all your no nation and toy collector merchandise i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace